So we just had a problem occur. I was trying to use hot water and this happened. I have nothing. Although if I switch it to cold water, I have plenty of cold water pressure. I have no hot water pressure. What's the problem? So I did some internet searches and they said it might be some sort of check valve. I honestly don't know what a check valve is, so in a moment I'm going to explore my hot water heater. I'm assuming it's on the inside where the plumbing is. Alright, so I have gotten underneath my sink and that's where my hot water heater is located. Obviously, rig wise, that might differ. But if you trace the lines, the water is coming in from this line. Another way to tell, especially if the water was hot previously, is to feel the lines. This one feels cold and this one up here feels warm. So I know that we're coming in to the water heater here and that actually goes into that port right down here uh, where the cold water enters. Once water gets hot, it rises to the top. So your water heater pulls your hot water from the top hot water up here and this hose felt warm. So I know that it comes out there. So the issue was I didn't have water coming out of this. Um, that check valve, when I was searching the internet that I mentioned earlier, um, they said some of them are made out of brass. And from uh, other videos that I saw, it turns out that this little brass piece right here that comes right out is the check valve. So, so far I turned my main water off and then I drained the hot water heater by opening the drain plug, which I'll show in a bit. Um, once uh, I drained the water heater, I didn't, uh, I won't make a mess, basically. And I've taken off that hose, you can see it's disconnected. It didn't drip very much, and then there's that brass piece, which I have to reach and unscrew. So that is the demand valve that is malfunctioning. Um, I have a really worn and cracked gasket in there. So, if I get a new one of these and put it on, it should work. Um, I will warn that getting it off is not the easiest of tasks. I ended up having to use a torque wrench because I needed a really long wrench to exert enough pressure to crack it loose. And, um, I just got a new check valve. Uh, I got two new ones just in case the other one fails and so you can easily see how they work there's the front and you'll notice that thing that plunger moves forward and that plunger is right back here so this sits in the hot water heater and the water flows that way so when you turn the um, faucet on on the hot water then this plunger opens up and lets water flow out that way once you turn the hot water off the spring pushes that plunger back so that way water can't flow backwards it can only flow forwards that way you don't get hot water leaking into your plumbing and uh, in order to put it in you wrap uh, pipe tape around it or Teflon tape I know it's not called Teflon anymore but that's what everybody knows it it's that white tape stuff I put it on both ends and then I'm going to screw it into the um, water heater make sure when you screw it in it has a nifty arrow which tells you the flow of water we want to put that so that the water flows out of the water heater because you don't want to block that from happening I have put the tape around it and it's sticking out of my water heater right now it's got that white tape I screwed it into the water heater and my next step is to screw the pipe onto it. Um, I've got the everything screwed in there. I'm ready to fill up the hot water heater and see if I have no leaks. I said I took the drain cap out of my hot water heater to drain it and this is that drain cap and I'm going to put some Teflon tape around it so that it seals and doesn't leak. So about two or three wraps usually does it. And that hole is right up here. Um, you'll notice right behind my uh, propane burner here, there's that hole. And this cap actually goes right in that hole. And screws in just like a regular screw. 
So ultimately, once I have it screwed in, it'll be screwed in right there. When you uh, we have everything plugged in, I turn the water on, and it's not leaking, but I need to fill up the hot water heater because remember we drained it. So in order to do that, we can open this up, and it's gonna give you air for a while. Eventually, it won't be air, and it'll come out as water. Uh, what it's doing is it's filling up all six gallons of that hot water heater. Make sure you don't turn on the hot water heater until you have filled it up. If your hot water suddenly stops working, that might be the issue, and how, that's how to fix it. Uh, you don't necessarily need to know what's going on, just troubleshoot it, and eventually our, I, I ended up checking Google and checking forums and finally found the issue, and it turned out to be a pretty easy fix. Um, the, uh, the valves ended up costing somewhere between 5 and $10, depending upon where you go. So it's not an expensive fix, and it's a fairly easy fix as long as you have the parts.